In the new season of Rainbow Six Siege, the drones have a new ability, and this is a speed boost. And if you've played any racing games, you'll be very familiar with this. You press a button and you go faster. And this applies to normal drones, Bravo's Clutch Drone, Twitch's Shock Drone, and Echo's Yokai Drone. And also anything captured by Mozzie, if it has charges left in it, you'll be a useful speed boost as well. And the charges themselves that give you the speed boost, they act a little bit like a progress bar. As you're using it, it goes down. And once it runs out, you have to wait a little bit before the next one is available to use. A lot like the mechanics you would have in, say, Need for Speed, for instance. And there's a total of three charges per device. And then when it comes to what it does to the drone, it makes the drone go about, I'd say, one third faster in my testing. And it does not apply to the jump. So even if you're going as fast as you can and then you jump, you don't appear to go any further than usual. But I will say that when you're going full speed with this and you take a 90 degree corner, it actually feels like you're drifting. So I'm just waiting now for the Rainbow Six Siege event where we're going to be out racing our drones. It's bound to happen. And then when it comes down to the reasoning for this change, no big explanation is given like they sometimes do for a lot of balancing changes. But we can surmise that this is about increasing the survivability of drones, which means that attackers will be the ones to benefit the most, but Muzzy and Echo will benefit a little bit off of this. And then just for general gameplay, the attackers are going to be able to get from their drone spawns to the objectives faster. And Muzzy and Echo are going to be able to pop out of the building, have a look around at a bigger range than normal because they can boost out and then boost back in. And I think this will have a relatively small impact on gameplay on both PC and console, but console will have a slightly larger impact because, of course, hitting drones with a controller is slightly more difficult. And overall, I'd love to hear your opinion on this change in the comments below, especially once the new season is out and this new ability is usable. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.